the area of a regular pentagon. When I have a regular pentagon, it is a five-sided polygon because it's a pentagon and it's regular so all sides are congruent. This symbol is used for congruent. Remember, congruent means same size and same shape. It's like equal, but we're talking about objects. So on this pentagon, I have one tick mark on each of these sides, which means all of these sides are congruent to each other. When I have a regular pentagon, I can divide it up into congruent triangles. If I draw from the center point, which it's kind of reaching here, from the center point to the vertex of the polygon, the pentagon, each of these lines, I end up with five congruent triangles in the pentagon. I can divide up a regular pentagon into five congruent triangles. These triangles are equal to each other. This is an isosceles triangle where this side equals this side because this is my center point, so they have to be the same distance, and because the bases are all the same because it's a regular pentagon by side, 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 this triangle here is equal to this triangle here. Then I can take one of these triangles and find the area of it. So my plan would be to find the area of one triangle and then multiply it by five and that would give me the area of the regular pentagon. So to find the area of a triangle, it is one half the base times the height. There is a special name for the height of a triangle in a regular polygon. That is called the apothem. The height of the triangle is called the apothem. Apothem in any regular polygon is a perpendicular bisector from the center to any of the sides. So this is the height of the triangle. It has to be perpendicular to the side for it to be the height, which means it makes a 90 degree angle on this side. This is our symbol for perpendicular instead of writing out the whole word. Bisector, since this is an isosceles triangle, this side is equal to this side. When I have my height and I divide it into two equal triangles again, but they're right triangles. So I am bisecting the side which means cut into two equal parts. So this side is equal to this side, even though this is one side of the polygon. What is the area of a regular pentagon if the apothem is two and six hundredths units and a side is three units? So the apothem, my height, is two and six hundred units, and the side of the pentagon is three units. So apothem is the height of a triangle in a regular polygon, two and six hundred units. The area of the regular polygon is the number of sides, which is five because it's a pentagon, times one half times the base times the apothem, which is the height. So I have five sides times a half times the base, which is three units, that's given in the problem, times the apothem, which is given in the problem, as two and six hundredths units. When I multiply this all out, I get 15 and 45 hundredth units squared. So, if I'm finding the area of a regular polygon, I can partition it 
divided into non-overlapping parts into congruent triangles. And then I can find the area of one of the triangles and multiply it by the number of sides to find the area of the regular polygon. Remember that the height of the triangle that you partition it into is called the apothem.